today it is about interest rates because uh, you know they're moving they're moving north pretty pretty rapidly, and um, you know big investment firms, big banks, all these people are all trying to predict future. So some of these moves are not about what's going on in the present, but about preparation for the future and the impacts that will come from interest rate hikes. Uh, and from an inflationary environment, the two are, are definitely related to each other. But today, this was a great article, just seemed like a good fit to kick it off. And then, you know, it's right in line with predicting what's going on in the market and what to expect as we go forward in the year for real estate. Got it. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Uh, so this comes from our friends at CNBC. Uh, mortgage... Mortgage rates jump again, causing headaches for home buyers. So key points are uh, the 30 year fixed mortgage rate is now at the highest level since April, 2020. Uh, rates are closing in on a full percentage point gain from a year ago. And some lenders will be at 3.625%, but many are already up to 3.75%, said Matthew Graham, COO at Mortgage News Daily. All right, so let me jump that's, into this. Go if, ahead. You're a buy, if you're a buyer, man, that's a huge number to digest. <laughs> They're yeah. always, you always hear the relatively speaking, these are historically low numbers, but that's a, that's a big move up, three quarters of right. a point. Yeah. Right. Well, and, you know, as I put in the email, um, you know, this has been awaited for a while and people keep talking about it. Well, boom, here it is. <laughs> yeah, so it can be a shock to some, uh, but it's been predicted for a while. Here we are. Um, and, you know, the other thing that I put in the email and, and you know, this can be uh, as much as a disadvantage, but also advantage to some. So hopefully we can bring out the uh, silver lining in some of this, uh, whether it's a For refi sure. or whether it's a new home buyer uh, who's been frustrated in the market. So, uh, OK, so uh, the average rate on the popular 30 year fixed mortgage hit 3.7 percent Tuesday morning, according to Mortgage News Daily. That is the highest since early April 2020 and now eight, 83 basis points higher than the same time one year ago. Rates are reacting to surging bond yields as financial markets react to swifter and more aggressive monetary policy tightening by the Federal Reserve. Uh, mortgage rates loosely follow the yield on the 10-year U.S. Treasury, but they are also affected by demand for mortgage-backed bonds. The Fed had been buying those bonds aggressively during the pandemic in order to keep rates low, but it is now pulling out of the MBS market faster than expected. Anything there? No, just flow with it. Yeah. All right. Mortgage rates, quote, would be higher, but lenders are compressing their margins to compete in a rising rate environment. Some will be at 3.625%, but many are ready all are already up to 3.75%, said Matthew Graham, COO of Mortgage News Daily. Uh, lenders are losing vast amounts of refinance business, which had been booming just a year ago when rates were much lower. Applications to refinance a home loan were down 50% from a year ago, according to the most recent weekly survey from the Mortgage Bankers Association. That's While the huge. rapid, yeah. That's yeah. huge. And, 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 and you know, it's probably where we're getting a lot more attention from our lenders that we work with. <laughs> They're getting much closer to their realtor friends who will bring them new business rather than what's been feeding their pipeline in their yeah. refinance business. Well, I remember, I remember we were talking about this before, but right, uh, they've probably uh, taken their staff and decreased a bit because of this already, right? They saw it coming. Oh, last year. There were multiple articles about layoffs that were already happening. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. While the rapid rate spike is motivating a certain portion of fence sitters, especially those looking for cash out refinances, rates are now becoming a bigger deterrent, said Graham. In other words, the refi share of the origination market should be taking a substantial hit in forthcoming updates. Uh, mortgage rates set more than a dozen record lows in 2020, causing already strong home buyer demand to surge even more. With the extra purchasing power afforded by low rates, buyers bid up prices on the low supply of homes for sale. And those prices are now still up double digits from a year ago. 
Both new and existing home prices are at record highs, and there is still not enough supply to cool the market. Now, that's huge. Mm -hmm. That sentence right there is something that uh, everybody needs to keep in mind. So even with increased rates, we mm -hmm. still just don't have the supply demand curve is, is overweighted uh, to the demand side. And even with increasing rates, there's no prediction at this point that I've seen that means the market's going to churn rapidly. Got it. Got it. Okay. Rising rates are not what potential buyers want to see on the cusp of the usually busy spring housing market. Buyers of new construction are also concerned as timelines from contract to closing are long now due to supply chain and labor issues. Those buyers can't lock in rates until they have a firm closing date. Also very important for buyers to understand. So if you're just out there trying to buy something and the rate's fluctuating, there's nothing you can do. You can't, no lender's going to lock in a rate until you are in escrow with a secured property. Then you can lock in your rate at that point. Good point. Okay. Buyers of the median priced existing home around 350,000 are now looking at monthly payments of about 125 more than they would have been just a few months ago. That may price some out of the market, especially first time buyers on the lower end. Right, so, so for our market, we probably need to double that, right? So, right, or more. Or, or, or triple it. So right. it's, it's 250 to $375 more uh, per month, you know, with an increase of three quarters to 1% in the interest rate, so. So yeah, yeah, dire dire uh, consequences for some, but uh, maybe some advantages to others that have a little bit more money. Unfortunately, fortunately. Yeah, it's um, you'll you'll have a little more strength, I think, if you have uh, more cash or mm -hmm. are a cash buyer. Um, yeah, yeah, very yeah. much the case. And there will be some people that are going to be pushed out of the market because of this. Maybe the, the, they were already peaking out near the top prices. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, if you've been looking for a while and you're pre-approved, probably, you know, you need to go back and reevaluate your pre-approval to confirm what you qualify for. Cause for some people, Ooh. well, just about for everyone, it's going to mean a lower price point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well. Uh, anything more to add to that? What else? Anything more? Uh, you know, we got a quick email, uh, from, from one of our mortgage people. And I will just say, you know, one of their key components is pointing out that there's, uh, the, the largest millennium group of home buyers are hitting the market right now. So, you know, on the, uh, uh, on the demand side, even though this is negative, I, I don't know how much it's going to slow down those millennials who have the money and are, are entering the, the buying season in full force.